Hi, so I'm Ravleen Suri and I am an Indian IMG. I'm currently doing MBBS and I'm in my fourth year. Today, I'm going to tell you how to do UWorld question bank properly. Now, this is all according to me. Most of the people who are interested in giving USMLE would know about the UWorld question bank and its importance. Currently, uh, UWorld has more than 3000 questions on it and it allows you to do 40 questions at one go. So one block has 40 questions and there are questions that can be done on various modes. So system wise, subject wise, and random, timed, non-timed, etc. So in this video, I'll tell you what's the best way to choose these modes and do your questions. So there are three categories that the question modes can be divided in. According to time limit, there is timed and untimed. According to the explanation given, there are tutor and non-tutor. According to the type of questions that can be done, there are random, subject and system-wise modes. Now, in this video, I do not suggest how many times you should revise UWorld and review your UWorld question blocks as it's totally up to the person who is doing it, depending on their uh, weaknesses in those areas according to their MBME scores. So, the best way to start is in the timed mode. It'll be difficult at first, but you'll speed up your skills. That will help you to strategize in the exam. And trust me, it's really important not to have any unattempted questions at the end of your block. You will eventually learn how to skim through the important information in the question given and then choose a, an appropriate option. You can first try reading the options and then you can go back to the question and skim through that. Now, when you are doing timed, you are going to train yourself for that exam day. So eventually you will do the questions much more quickly as you were doing before. Now, in terms of tutor and non-tutor mode, I believe that the tutor mode does not make you think or guess your answer with your full potential because uh, eventually you know that once you press that show answer button you will get that explanation down and you can easily move on to the next question and save time do not let that trick you doing it on non-tutor mode is just how the exam is presented to you plus it makes you skillfully guess the answer and you're thinking more about how to solve the answer and about the diagnosis and less about how easy would it be for you to just press that show answer button and get that explanation and you could just read it and move on to the next one. Tutor mode can be okay at the start of your prep but eventually you have to make that transition to the non-tutor mode. Now if you have gone through first aid at least once and you are okay with the concepts and the basic knowledge of subjects in general, you can start with random blocks. This is the best you can do to get an exact presentation of your exam day scenario. However, if you haven't done first aid or uh, pathoma or sketchy or you are just clearing up your uh, basic knowledge then I would recommend you doing system wise rather than subject wise just because it's easier to keep a track of them and it's similar to the pattern which is given in first aid and pathoma so you can complete one system from either or both of these resources that is pathoma and first aid and you can come back to the U world question blocks and you can do those questions selecting the same system that you completed. So this is all I have for today. Uh, if you have any questions, you can DM me or message me and I would be happy to get back to you. Thank you. Bye.